defend the world from the return of the Shadow Kings, just as the brave Pharaoh did 5,000 years ago. YouTube, Vinti Jugu here today. And if you're watching this, that means we have reached 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So uh, don't post a whole lot. Never really a goal or a, a journey of mine to get to an X amount of followers. But um, I have been grading uh, sealed packs and I needed a magic ruler. So I thought, what a better way than to buy a magic ruler box, open up um, what hopefully are some heavy packs, and then grade the light packs to get. Uh, a graded magic ruler pack for my collection but i will be the first to say that um scaling magic ruler is about next to impossible and luckily enough i found uh, an open box that had 20 uh, 20 sealed packs and the four other packs were still with the box and no hollow has been pulled so hopefully i i've attempted to scale out the heavy ones we do have 11 packs to hopefully um get any uh, uh, carryover that might be trickling down into some of the lighter heavy ones but these are first edition north american english magic ruler i've never really opened a whole lot of magic ruler first edition so this is a treat to me for sure and should be hopefully a lot of fun hopefully we don't have to rip the whole box open because like i said these packs are box fresh but i and i want to be able to grade a few of these so without further ado we're going to get right into it um would love to pull any of the five cards behind me, but really, um, ideally just pull the hollows before I open all the packs. Um, ideally, if we pull two ultras and, um, or one ultra and blue eyes tune, then that's probably gonna be it. I'm not gonna really go digging for uh, super rares or anything like that because it's just not worth it um, when I can grade the packs or sell them as light, and then maybe there still be a hollow in them. But, all right, here we go. First pack, House of Adhesive Tape, Ruran, Toll, Reliable Guardian, Griggle, Final Destiny, Penguin Knight, Ekaboon, and we have an effect. It could be a Tune Mermaid, could be Tune Summon Skull, invader of the throne super rare so we are starting off with a hollow and this one is pretty well centered and yeah very nicely packed fresh so get that in a sleeve first edition like i said american english so that's a nice start to hit that and i think that was probably one of i didn't like put in order from heaviest to lightest or anything i plan on opening up all 11 of these because I like open them, opening them just, you know, for the commons and rares too. There's some good rares in here and commons. So I plan on opening all 11 of these if I hit the six or seven hollows before we get to the last pack. But I don't want to go diving in into the other packs that I've set aside that were really light. But um, we will just see how this goes. But so far, so good. Wow, that one has a lot of scratches. So I'm going to guess this is probably a hollow knowing my luck, but that, that's all right. All right, we have time home number two, Electric Snake, Minar, Jigen Bakudan, classic card there, Dark Witch, Crab Turtle, one of my favorite ritual cards. All right, for you guys that aren't skipping through this video, um, this is going to be the giveaway. So once we get 150 comments, I will uh, do a random filter search and this first edition Magic Ruler pack will be given away to one of you guys. Snake Fang, Peacock, and what do we have? Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. So yeah, this thing is scratched up for some reason straight out of the pack. So I don't know what what would cause that, but that um still very cool to pull. Um don't really care that it, you know, it's not gonna grade a 10. But to pull a secret, they're not guaranteed, and uh it is really well centered though, but is a very high population card. Uh, I would guess this would probably get like a PSA 7 or 8 though, because that thing is just, whatever happened there is not good. You guys can't really see them too much there, maybe. I mean, they're just kind of all wishy-washy which way. So yeah, Surface would not get a good grade, but we pulled the Secret Rare. Which, like I said, not a guarantee, so and that, that's just really an added bonus. 
So, so far, so good on the scaling. Um, yeah, I would love to get a uh, Toon Mermaid or Toon Summon Skull, a Delinquent Duo. I mean, even Mystical Space Typhoon or Spellbinding Circle would really be up there. Really not going to, you know, be mad about any of the Ultras. I'll, I'll say it and it'll happen now, but probably Forceful Century would be my least favorite one to pull. So now we'll pull it, but that is just how it goes. Mechanical Snail, Slot Machine, a very classic vanilla there. Can't beat these old school vanillas. Guardian of the Throne Room, 1650. Labyrinth Wall, 3000 Defense. High Tide Joygen, Boar Soldier, Hamburger Recipe, Psychic Kappa. We have our magic card. It can be a, a large number of things. Messenger of the Peace. Awesome. So that was this was the last card I got in PSA 10 condition. And uh, this one has a couple of specs on the back. It might probably rub off if I put a, a little water on a Q-tip. Uh, but yeah, very nice copy there. And we've hit our second super rare and third hollow. So... I want to say these were some, of like, like I said, some of the lighter, heavier packs, if that makes any sense. So that's why I always do more than just like the six heaviest or whatever, because um, you never know where they're going to fall. And I would say it's impossible to scale. Um, everyone's like, oh, is this a heavy pack? And they have one pack. Like you need the box, the entire box it come from to even have a chance of understanding pack weights. Um, if you don't have every pack in that one box where it was all manufactured at the same time, you have no chance of knowing if it's heavy or light. All right, pack number four, Sonic Bird, tile number two, Electric Snake, Minar, Dark Witch, Molten Destruction, another Crab Turtle. Look, still looking for that hungry hamburger snake thing. Okay, I bet this is a Toon Mermaid or Toon Summon Skull. Oh, a duplicate, super, in a 24-pack box. Oddly enough, this and Pharaoh Servant, I see it happen all the time, though. So Invader of the Throne, um, duplicates on that. So that's all right, though. That is all right. So we are four hollows in, still looking for our first two ultra rares. And we should have one more super rare, but sometimes the secret replaces an ultra, or sometimes it even replaces a super. I've seen it both ways. So never know really on these old school boxes. They're just kind of guidelines. You're probably going to get six hollows, but beyond that, it's kind of a coin toss of which six you're going to get. I've seen three ultra boxes. Spear Cretan, Weather Report, Upstart Goblin. There's a nice couple dollar card. Ceremonial Bell. Griggle, Final Destiny, Penguin Knight. All right, Ikaboon, and we have another effect card. Are we gonna hit, get the triple, uh, get the playset Invader of a Throne? I'm betting Toon Mermaid or Toon Summon Skull. Oh, Giant Germ. So, very nice rare there, and our first rare. Um, so, definitely not mad about, you know, Giant Germ, Shining Angel, um, Giant Rat, all like old school, very playable cards. And very nice to pull. I don't uh, anticipate trying to get Magic Ruler in PSA 10. Matt, maybe if they ever got down like six or seven dollars per card for submission for like max hundred dollar value, I might do it. Um, attempt it after I get Metal Raiders done. I don't, at, at the time of filming, I don't have Metal Raiders done. I might be very close when this post, I don't even know how many subscribers I have on YouTube uh, at the time of the video, but. Magic Roy has just seemed, uh, it seemed more widely available, and it's a smaller set. It's only 101 or two cards. So Metal Raiders being 140 cards, I wanted to try to tackle that one. Metal Fish, Eternal Rest, Horn of Light, Giant Turtle Who Feeds on Flames, Magical Labyrinth. I always thought this was a really cool just card as a kid. Dark Zebra, Luminous Spark, and another effect card could be Mini many rares, or it could be one of those ultras we're after. Karate Man. So another classic, classic rare there. I don't think it really is is worth a whole lot in nowadays, but I remember pulling that card uh, quite a few times as a kid. 
Serpent Knight Dragon was the first secret I ever pulled, so very fitting that I've opened this 24-pack box now, and we pulled Blue Eyes Tune, so very cool to kind of come full circle. I don't think I've pulled, I pulled a Spellbinding for someone in first edition, and uh, maybe a, a Black Illusionist Ritual out of a random first edition pack I had, but never like really opened a full box for myself, especially. Flash Assailant. Turtle Oath, Twin Long Rods, number two. Horse of Sanctuary, I'm pretty sure that's a short print. Wall Shadow. It's kind of like the front of the packs are very off-center, and then the back of the packs are, are decently centered. Gaia Power. Chain Energy. Oh, boy. We pulled it. We pulled it. Relinquished. Oh, the cover card. That is awesome. You know when you see the ritual back there that it can only be one one thing it does have a pin dot right there but other than that a little rolled edge up there so probably like a psa you never know what they're going to do with a pin dot but probably like a psa 9. but to pull the cover card and the secret rare from this very cool and just you know didn't really, like, definitely not mad about pulling it. I didn't expect to pull it, so that's why I kind of didn't even list it. Um, but, yeah, Relinquish, just an epic card there in the background. Pegasus go-to, and just just really sums up uh, Magic Ruler very well to have pull that card. So, definitely satisfied with this opening, and, and we'll... Really feel no urge to try to really ever open this set again now after pulling the secret and relinquished. Uh, I guess if I wanted to be really picky right now, if I can even get these cards out, I try to keep the packs in good shape. Um, if I wanted to be really picky, I would say probably Toon Summon Skull would be my second ultra I want to pull. Why aren't you coming out? Why aren't you coming out? Everything should be free. I guess I'll rip it a little bit down here, maybe. Oh, it's getting caught maybe right there. Let's try that. There we have it. If my eyeballs would work, I could see. All right. So we are on to, we probably have one more super and one more ultra, but like I said, with the secret being pulled, you never really know um, what's going to happen? Flash Assailant, Turtle Oath, Twin Long Rods, Dark Witch, Molten Destruction, Crab Turtle. Still looking for Hungry Hamburger, Snake Fang, and we have another effect. Mystic Tomato, so another really classic, uh, highly played card back in the day. Nice rare there. Okay, so we have three packs, and we potentially have two hollows. Um, we should have at least one hollow. Um, we have five total pulled, so it should get at least six in a box. It's just a matter if we'll get that second ultra or not. Okay. Spear Cretan. Weather Report. Another Upstart. Ceremonial Bell. Ekaboon, Queen Bird, Whiptail Crow, Performance of Sword. All right, I'm feeling good about this one. I'm feeling good. Toon Mermaid. So I almost said Toon Mermaid, but Toon Summon Skull would have been really cool. But Toon Mermaid, very, very cool. A very classic card. And I'd say this one is probably been in the best shape so far out of all the hollows. So I think this one has a real chance of getting a 10 from what I see right now. So definitely got our two ultras and a secret. I mean, not to say this was a loaded box, but Relinquish and Two Mermaid are two of the best you could pull. And Messenger of the Peace is probably one of the better supers. And uh, I mean, Blue Eyes Tune is just an, an added bonus at this point. You definitely don't go... Uh, into a box opening expecting to pull the secret you know you always like to you want to be greedy but you you can't uh can't really hope uh hope it's gonna happen okay 
So we're going to open two more packs here. Hopefully we get our last super. But like I said, Blue Eyes Tune could have easily replaced a super. Or it might be in one of the lighter packs that I'm not really willing to go chase through. So we have Spear of Cretan, Weather Report, another upstart. Seems like we've had a hollow every time we've had an upstart. So hopefully that trend continues. Ceremonial Bell, and I feel like those two have been back to back every time. Queen Bird, Mystic Plasma Zone. I'm pretty sure that's a short print. Nice card there. Whiptail Crow, Performance of Sword. And Nimble Mamonga, little flying squirrel there, always looks kind of weird, but uh, so just a rare there, and we have one pack left, so this is going to be the last pack, regardless if we pull a hollow or not, and uh, going to grade most of the other packs, and keep a couple sealed for my graded pack collection, and then sell off the rest, so... But very fun opening. Oh, we got Red Archery Girl right there on the front. So that's a nice uh, compliment there to Toon Mermaid. Pulling Toon World would really, you know, be the fitting last card here to pull all these tunes together. Commencement Dance, Metal Fish, Horn of Light, Sonic Bird. There's Red Archery, Archery Girl. Malevolent Nuzzler, Ancient One of the Deep Forest. Firecracking, and we do have a magic card. What is it going to be? <laughs> this is like the box that you would dream about opening as a kid. To pull Toon World, Toon Mermaid, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, and a Relinquished. Um, just, just a very solid box. I mean, you got the Devil Invaders, but... Uh, definitely cannot complain about the rest. So let's take, get these picked up. And I'm, and I'm glad the scaling works because scaling magic ruler, um, it's tough. So you really need, um, I have a two decimal gram scale and it, you really need something like that, um, to even have a hope. And then also, you know, you can't just weigh out the top six packs or something, um, you need to scale um, at least three or four out, most likely, to have a good chance of getting coverage on these older sets. Metal Raiders is pretty easy to scale. It seems like you can probably get by with six or seven or eight. Um, but LOB and Magic Ruler um, especially are just super tough to scale. So glad, because, I mean, there were... These were, I think, um, it, was, it was something 0.4 was what the heaviest was. And then there was a couple, like a whole tenth of a gram less, like 13.3 or 14.3. I forget the, the first number. But, I mean, a whole tenth of a gram less. And then there was another tier that was uh, like 13.18 or 2. So I pretty much took the top two tiers in, in for my scaled heavies so we'll do a recap here but very cool video i'm very happy about it i, don't, I mean i honestly don't care if any of these get tens those are that would just you know be icing on the cake but really the um the blue ice tune was icing so we have messenger of peace very nice copy there invader of throne of the throne times two and that's probably one of the first hollows i ever pulled too so really not mad about pulling that last hollow of the opening the all classic Toon World, and then you can't have Toon Mermaid unless Toon, Toon World is on the field. So, very classic card there. And then Relinquished and Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. I uh, don't think either of these will get tens, but um, I'll submit them and probably just keep them. I, I always like to keep the cards I pull. And um, really fun, fun opening. I don't do a lot of crazy expensive openings anymore but got a good deal on this open box and like i said i plan on grading the rest of the packs so uh worked out well because i was going to crack a sealed box that i had but this worked out very very well and to have a great opening and pull old epic cards like this was even better so hopefully you guys enjoyed uh thank you for 5,000 subscribers um definitely have some videos in the works and and hopefully you know get the time to post more but i do do what i do um and kind of kind of just post whenever i feel like it so <sighs> enough rambling on my end 
pre please subscribe if you have not though. Um, I, I try to post uh, quality over quantity. So when I do post, they are, they're pretty cool videos in my eyes. So that's gonna do it. Leave a comment and always thanks for watching.